course, there were people in, in other parts of Scandinavia at that, at that time as well, central Scandinavia. Um, but it, it looks like really that uh, she was more closely related to uh, uh, people living further south on the continent, in France and Belgium and those places, rather than uh, uh, her contemporaries living in, in central Scandinavia. So we're talking Sweden, Norway, um, uh, those places. They have uh, a part of their ancestry that appears to have come in from the east, uh, maybe via you know the Atlantic coast, uh, but she, uh, Lola, she 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 she's lacking this this type of ancestry. Um, so uh, uh, there is some structure in the population in the hunter gatherer population, and she seems to be more closely related to to these individuals from the continent. You can get um, other information from from a genome, so you can uh, look at her uh, genetic ancestry, uh, genetic affinities, but. Uh, um, uh, of course, you can also uh, uh, get information about um, her phenotype or her her looks, uh, the way what you know what she what she looked like. It looks like um, she shared the same combination of phenotypic traits, so same look in a way as other of these continental hunter gatherers that we know about. So Chatterman is one, an individual from Labrania. Um, it makes sense because also genetically overall they're similar. And, and these individuals, they had a, 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 a very striking combination of, of, of traits, uh, apparently, uh, which is a, a, a very dark skin, um, uh, very dark, dark brown hair, um, but, but uh, light, brighter eyes, lighter eyes, so blue eyes. Um, uh, and that combination of phenotypic traits um, seems to have been quite common. And it's interesting because it suggests that um, the kind of combination of phenotypic traits that's common nowadays in, in northern latitudes in, in, in Europe, um, which has arisen you know, due to adaptation to these northern latitudes, um, uh, only evolved really only appeared after that time period. So perhaps only in the last 6,000 years or so. And that's, you know, that's quite fascinating.